Imagine, you're out on your daily chores, buying your morning bread, and end up dead. That's what happened in Israeli-occupied Gaza. According to Al Jazeera, an Israeli attack killed eight people queuing at a bread seller stand in front of a UNRWA school shelter in Gaza's Jabalia refugee camp. Six hostages, including an American Israeli citizen, were found dead in a Gazan tunnel last week. Hamas has said more captives will be returned dead if Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu does not agree to a deal. Prime Minister Netanyahu has apologized to the families of the dead. He has also said he will not give in to any kind of pressure as thousands of people are protesting against his government in Israel and globally, demanding a ceasefire and release of the captives in occupied Gaza. Palestinian prisoners have been said to face abuse in the form of beatings and sexual abuse, evidences of the Israeli Defense Forces raping and sexually abusing both male and female prisoners have also surfaced online. The hostage crises in Gaza often involve individuals being captured by various factions, including Hamas and Israeli forces. These hostages can be used as bargaining chips or part of broader strategic objectives, adding to the already intense conflict. The Third Geneva Convention states, Hostage taking is considered a violation of this convention as it breaches the principles of humane treatment. The Fourth Geneva Convention concerns the protection of civilians during wartime. It explicitly condemns the taking of hostages. At least 40,786 people have been killed and 94,224 wounded in Israel's war on Gaza. An estimated 1,139 people were killed in Israel during the hamas led attacks on October 7th. Genocide of the Palestinian people started not 11 months, but 106 years, 7 months and 15 days ago. If Israel once suffered under the cruelty of oppression, it should now recognize that the pain of being an oppressor is just as wrong. If history judged Germany for its actions, then we must also acknowledge that what is happening in Gaza today is unjust. The wounds of the past should teach us empathy, not give us the right to inflict suffering on others.